So in many of these variable selection methods, we've been saying we want to pick the best model. Um, but that begs the question, which model is best? And so we have some different statistics we can use to compare models. So, so far we've been using um, adjusted R squared as our uh, main method of comparing models, but there are more ways to compare models. Um, again, I'll talk through all of these. There's RSS, there's Mallow CP, there's AIC, and there's BIC. Um, so the residual sum of squares is RSS. We also sometimes call this SSE. Um, we've seen this before in class. So this is where you take the YI minus the YI hat and you subtract them. So that's the residual and you square it and you sum it up. So that's the, the residual is this piece, um, the sum is this piece, and the squares are that piece. Um, and you want to minimize the residual sum of squares. So you want to minimize, so you're looking for the smallest value. Then the method that the book uses is called Mallow's CP, and this is the formula for Mallow's CP. You don't actually need to know this formula, um, but basically you're looking at the sum of the squared errors for the model you're considering, uh, or you could think about that as the RSS for the model you're considering, um, divided by the mean squared error for the full model, like with all of the variables um, contained. And then you're gonna look at the number of terms in the model you're considering, uh, and you're gonna subtract off the size of the sample. Um, so Mallow CP, again, uh, you want this to be uh, smaller numbers. Um, smaller numbers are better. And I'll just write this in. So this is the number of predictors. And this is the sample size. So we've got two more methods uh, for variable selection. One is a Kiki information criterion, AIC. So that's named after the Japanese statistician who developed this uh, method for comparing models. Um, and for linear regression, the AIC is actually equivalent to the Mallow's CP, but it's a more general method. So the formula for AIC is two times K, the number of explanatory variables, minus two times the log of the likelihood. Um, and the likelihood is this idea that I am not going to discuss in this class, but if you take um, like STAT 400 and you're doing um, machine learning, I think that you will talk more about the likelihood. Uh, the likelihood is going to increase as the number of predictors increase. So this uh, method is gonna penalize larger models because we're gonna subtract off uh, the log of the likelihood. And um, it turns out that for linear regression, this is basically just 2K minus two times the log of the RSS. So again, we want smaller values of AIC. And then the final uh, criterion is called Bayesian information criterion, uh, BIC. So this is sort of a different version. Um, it's a competitor to AIC. Um, again, L is the likelihood here. And for linear regression, it gets a little bit simplified. Um, and again, smaller values are better. So I've just told you about a bunch of different methods for variable selection, and then a bunch of different statistics that you could use to compare so the main caveat that I want to give you is that an automated method can never replace a human analyst. 
So oftentimes, um, once I show students these methods, they feel like they have to use them and the solution that comes out of R is the best model. Um, but that's not necessarily the case. Uh, you need a person in the loop to be looking for things like multicollinearity, to be thinking about whether the results make sense, um, to be thinking about things like interactions, which uh, these methods can't take into account. Um, to think about if it makes sense um, in terms of the interpretability. Sometimes you want to have a smaller model because it's easier to explain to people. Um, so you, even though you could get a model that comes out of one of these algorithms and has the lowest AIC, for example, uh, you always need to be um, thinking critically about your model. All right, so we'll do more with variable selection when we are in R.